<coughs> Welcome. We are here at Pokemon League. We are at the well, this second to last. Well, not really. Yeah, second to last part of Pokemon White, at least for the main story, at least. <coughs> so, off screen. I did what I said I would do and did some level grinding. And as you can see, Shades and Kong are now fully evolved. And Rex has learned Outrage. So now, let's <coughs> make our way to the Pokemon League. Once you start your challenge, you cannot leave until you win again. And it's all or lose. Who do you want to go in? So, the whole shtick with the Elite Four is that you have four trainers, four powerful tra trainers. <clears throat> each of these train, each member of the Elite Four. And the whole shtick is that you have to beat all four members of the Elite Four before fighting the champion. If you lose once, you have to do it all over again. <clears throat> so basically, it's like a boss rush from uh, Mega Man. Words are engraved on the statue. Four great warriors form the Pokemon League. To the southwest is one. One who does not fear the ghost type. And to the southeast, Heath is the one who challenges who channels the power of the fighting type. To the northwest is the is one who has mastered the dark type. <coughs> and to the northeast is one who knows the mind of the psychic type. So yeah. For this, so Black and White were the first Pokemon games to have it where you get to choose which Elite Four member you want to fight first. So you can either do them in in whichever one you find to be the easiest, is and then work your way from there, or you can do it the way I'm gonna do it, and that is clockwise, starting with Ghost. Uh oh. Oh shit. That ain't creepy. Eyes brimming with dark flame. This man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of a novel I'm writing. Okay. Hmm, neat. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here. And somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost type Pokemon user. Chantal. Oh, and I shall be your opponent. Alright. First up, Chantal. Specialty, ghost type. My strategy is basically to just try and bulldoze my way through everything. Starting off with Cofagrigus. To start off, Dragon Claw. In case anyone's also wondering, just like in the Soul Silver playthrough, I intend to fight every Elite Four member in one go. No saving in between. <clears throat> Will O Wisp. Damn. Beginnings are important, whether in a good novel or in battle. Full Restore. Good, at least she used it early. <clears throat> Shh. 
Shadow Ball. I want to start healing up now. Luckily, I... Fucking hell, computer. Fuck off, computer. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, full restore. Get rid of the burn. Cofagrigus. Go work. Who I'm guessing is Rock Ghost. Either that or Ghost Steel. It was Rock Ghost. There we go, Raptura. Chandelure. Ghost Fire. <clears throat> Alright. Count how many times I intend to use Outrage. Boom. Number one. And there goes Chandelure. Level 65. Jellicent. You are our water ghost. I don't know why, but Jellicent just reminds me of Cotton Candy for some reason. There we go. There goes Jellicent. And there goes Chantal. Well, I'm done, sure. I know a lot of words, but right now, I can't figure out how to say... Oh, wait. I'm not gonna fucking read all this. This. Boom. Cash. Cash money. <clears throat> sorry. First, I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. It's not your fault. This is how battles always are. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. Alright, one down. Three more to go. <clears throat> Let's see how our team's looking. I'm gonna make sure Rex is in tip top shape. Let's see, do I have a healer item that I don't really give much of a shit about? Uh, I can use this Hyper Potion, since, well, at this point I have full restores, <laughs> so I don't really intend on using them anymore. <clears throat> Alright, next up, Dark Type user. So yeah, the way I tend to fight the Elite Four in this one is that I tend to fight them clockwise, where whoever I fight first, I end up fighting the next one, one, one afterwards. Alright. Combatant number two. 
Man, oh man, what is going on today? Challenges coming one right after another. Well, no matter. I am Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Alright. Elite Four number two, Grimsley. <clears throat> Who specializes in dark types. Starting off, Scrafty, who's rocking a mohawk, and baggy pants. <clears throat> Alright, start off strong with Dragon Claw. <clears throat> Crunch. That's gonna lower my defense. Little do you know that with every defense you lower, I just get stronger. <clears throat> get him to use his two full restorers first, so that way he can't heal anyone else. Dragon Pulse to finish him off. There goes Scrafty. <clears throat> Next up, Crocodile. Rapture, you're up. Rapture and Rex are the MVP of this game, so might as well have these two ended off. Leaf Blade, since you have Ground Dark. Like so. <clears throat> and that was a crit as well, god damn. Next up, B Sharp. Rex, go in. Luckily, by switching out, that negates, negates the defense lower, the lower defense from Crunch. Level 50. I think he's, I think B-Sharp is still fighting, if I recall. <clears throat> Alright, Outrage. So, the thing about Outrage is that... Outrage can either you can either cause your Pokemon to attack two turns or three turns. Afterwards, they become confused, like so. Lipard, send Rapture out. You've taken down plenty of these. Leaf Blade. Fake out. You fucking coward. <clears throat> Light part is just pure dark, but it doesn't matter. There goes Grimsley. Alright. Two down. Two more to go. Oh, we're making good time here. I did also do some level grind thing off screen for Rapture here. Whether or not you get to fight it at full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters. One results, only results matter. And a loss is a loss. See. Victory shines like a bright light, and right now you and your Pokemon are shining brightly. Hmm. But I've never taken for the poetic type. Also, a little detail about Grimsley that I only found out through Chugga Conroy's 
a playthrough of Black 2 that I didn't notice. Alright, now we... What the fuck am I doing? Actually, hold on. Let's give the black sunglasses to Shades. There you go. There you go, buddy. Let's see. Max Lysar, I don't want to use that. Max Ether, don't want to use that. Uh, regular Elixir, do I have any? I have Ethers. Uh, hold on, let me check. I still have seven more uses of Dragon Claw. Alright, I'm gonna take out the next Elite Four member. And then from there, we'll use an ether. Just to play it safe, because, well, after that, we probably won't need to use an ether. If you know, you know. Alright, next up, Psychic. Oh shit, we're flying. Why are we flying? So, yeah, a little bit of trivia that I found out through Chuck Conroy was that if you notice, Every single trainer that we fought tends to use Pokemon of the matching gender. So the uh, so the yeah so the boys use uh, male Pokemon and the girls use uh, female Pokemon. Grimsley is actually different, however. He's actually one of the few where he actually uses Pokemon of the opposite gender. It's just a little detail you probably didn't notice. I definitely didn't notice on my first playthrough until Chuck Connery brought it up. Who are you? How impotent are how, how impotent you are. Hard to disturb my sleep. Oh shit. <laughs> you appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness. Very well. Make your best effort not to bore me. With a yawn inducing battle. Clear? Alright, Caitlin. Specializes in psychic types. Fun fact, she actually showed up in, I think, the uh, Battle Frontier in one of the earlier DS titles. Which is uh, interesting. So. She went from a competitor in the Battle Frontiers to a full-fledged member of the Elite Four, which is actually pretty interesting. Alright, Dragon Claw. To take down... Renucleus. <laughs> that was a crit. Damn. Because <laughs> I didn't need the Ether after all. <laughs> Sigilyph. Ranunculus is pure psychic, while Sigilith, by contrast, is psychic flying. Dragon Claw again. Boom, boom. And there she goes. Boop. Musharna. Pure psychic. <clears throat> Tell. <clears throat> Frisk. So now she knows of the miracle seed. God 
Damn, the soundtrack in this game is so good. Yeah, I'm just going to say this right now. Game Freak had no business going as hard as they did with the soundtrack of the Unova games. But fuck me, the soundtrack slaps. I probably should have used Leaf Blade. Holy shit! Hmm. Well then. That ain't good. Uh, hmm. First revive, and it's for my starter. Oof. Luckily, she uses a full restore, so this one's a freebie. There you go. Get up, girl. You are seeing this fucking fight all the way through to the end, damn it. I'm back, bitch. Not making the same mistake twice. <clears throat> Christ, that hurts. <clears throat> there we go. 59. And that's Caitlyn. Her oh, Katie. This is actually a bit more challenging for, for a change. God damn. You haven't faced all the members of the Elite Four yet, have you? Don't concern yourself about me. Go on ahead. Okay then. Oh. Okay, four, three down, one more to go. First order of business. No, I'm not gonna save, because that is fucking stupid. Why the hell would you save in the Elite Four, damn it? Like, mmm. Yeah, word of advice when fighting the Elite Four, do not save in the Elite Four area. Just don't. Alright. Raptura and Sky. Alright, now we probably want to use that ether that I just completely scrolled past. Dragon Claw PP was restored. Okay then. Next up, this guy. Fighting type. Save this guy for last. Oh shit. Oh shit, this is a boxing match. Uh, I did not bring any gloves. <laughs> Greetings, challenger! My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and is taking an interest in you. <laughs> it is my intention to test you. To take you to the limits of your strength. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck me, he's swole. <laughs> like, goddamn, he's jacked. Makes me wonder what his workout routine is. Alright, final Elite Farm member, or Marshall, who sends out Thor. There we go. First up, Dragon Claw. Because why the hell not? Hmm. 
bulldoze. That's not gonna do shit. Hmm. No, it doesn't make him use a full restore. Damn. Guess it wasn't in the red, so. Alright. Bada boom. Level 68. Next up, he's sending out Sock. Dragon Claw again. And damn, he went down like a chump. Tom Keldor. Who, if I remember correctly, is ground fighting? Hold on a second. Give me a second. Nope, he's just regular fighting. <clears throat> so, may not be smart of me to send Rapture out. Outrage. Weird, I thought Cone Kelder was like... In fact, I thought the entire Cone Kelder line was like... Ground fighting. Main Shao, who is pure fighting or psychic fighting. Like I said, I don't bother remembering Pokemon typings since I just tend to bulldoze my way through everything, like so. <clears throat> oh my god. Elite Four Marshall. There is no single strongest Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, unless you count the legendaries. Alright. That's all of them. Time to face the Elite Four. Now, you have become the strongest trainer in this Pokemon League. The statue in the central chamber will take you... You to the champion's room. We, the Elite Four of Unova, were sworn to follow the champion's orders to be neutral. So, the rest is up to you. Alright? Going down. Climbing up the stairs. Here we are. Um, hello? It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend, Reshiram. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me he, with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight right, with your full strength. I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokemon. I beg you. Separating people from Pokemon 
do anything but that. You and I both have put our beliefs on the line and fought with our with all our strength. And I won. Do not say another word. <laughs> I've been waiting. In the future I envisioned, you obtained the stone. And indeed you have the dark stone. Reshiram is responding to it. Stop. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground, rise up! The castle of Team Plasma! Ignore that. Surround the Pokemon League. Um, hello? Oh. Well, damn. What has just appeared here is Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people or whether Pokemon and people will live together. You will see whose belief is stronger, and our result will change the world. Mr. Alder, you're all right. It's not fitting for the champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow, I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Er, I have to congratulate you. I've become stronger because I understood what I want to do. Tell and this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together, we learned and became stronger. I lost should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that breath the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. So his conviction ends were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world held are always the ones who pursue their dreams. I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please, let him know that. Well then, seems like the Elite Four has been interrupted by N. Little green hair shit interrupted the Pokemon League. And just smashed a castle through it, goddamn. Oh shit. Those in accord with fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate re perish. When the way is forgotten, and duty and justice appear, one can lose the forest for the trees. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is a second mistake. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand and what is what will sell. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Oh shit. Well, 
If anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Getsus' perfect plan. Our lord N will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? <laughs> <clears throat> Still standing, are you? you your trip fails. <laughs> Ain't just me. Oh shit, we got all the gym leaders here. <laughs> so sorry. Not only are we stronger than you, but there are lots of us. Curse it, gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma, that would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asks us to come, um, too. <laughs> I'm fine, don't worry. No need to worry. Holder of the Dark Stone, please proceed. Well damn. We know it must be done. So yeah, we are officially in the end game. This is End's Castle. And so we must make our way to End. <clears throat> Luckily. There's some Team Plasma Grunts. Grunts here. So yeah, this kind of area <clears throat> definitely feels less like something out of a Pokemon game and more like something out of Final Fantasy. Come. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed, it is our Lord N's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of the castle. So yeah, we have our healers. I am Concordia. I give peace and comfort to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon. Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Getsis deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N. N was touched by their plight and started pursuing the truth. Thinking only of Pokemon. N's heart is pure and innocent, but there is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. So that's Concordia. I am Anthea. Trainer, before you go to confront my lord N, please take a moment to rest. Boom. Good. Both you and your Pokemon regain energy. Trainers battle to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord N has realized this deep down in his heart, but he has spent too much painful time here in this castle to admit it. So yeah, so I think we're going to have to save that for next time, actually. Next time on Pokemon White, we will confront N and hopefully we bring down whatever the hell he's scheming. So. 
If you enjoyed this part of Pokemon White, feel free to like and subscribe. Hi. Right. For we are at the end game. So, I think before I sign, hang off, I just want to say a few things. I really like how this game, game's story and how it basically really allows you to question in like the morality of like catching Pokemon because in every other Pokemon game both before and after Unova but you don't really stop to think about whether or not that what's happening is really good or right and good or whatever and it really gets you to think in a way that you'd usually expect out of something like say Final Fantasy not so much out of a Pokemon game and honestly I think that is a good thing and the fact that <clears throat> stuff like this or its follow up hasn't really, really, really been tackled since then is really unfortunate but that's enough uh, you know of uh, praising for one part if you want to check out my non-gaming stuff over her on a tumblr feel free to well check it out link is in the description as always so see you all next time for some more pokemon white bye